The new Manufacturing Sustainability Insight add-in for Fusion has been developed in partnership with Gravity Climate. Manufacturing Sustainability Insights, or MSI, is now available on the Autodesk App Store for free for all Fusion users. MSI has been developed to help our users understand the carbon footprint of the products that they manufacture and design within Fusion. Helping you understand what is the best process to use, the best location to manufacture your product, and also what material you should really be manufacturing this component in. Once you've downloaded MSI within the Autodesk App Store, you'll find it within the Utilities tab and the Spect Inspect location. If you don't see this icon, make sure you go into your scripts and add-ins and check that the add-in is running. If you don't see MSI with this symbol here, press run and run on startup. This icon will then pop up. Start your MSI workflow by clicking the icon and selecting a body. We're gonna do this on the motor housing to start with. You can now select your manufacturing type, such as subtractive, additive, and injection molding, and also the material that you're manufacturing this component out of. MSI automatically allocates the material based off what you've selected within Fusion. However, you can override your material with our bespoke material library that consists of popular polymers and metal alloys. In this case, we're gonna stick with ABS. You can now select the manufacturing region, such as Europe, Africa, North America, and Asia, and the country that you're located or your manufacturing location is. In this case, we're gonna stick with Europe in the United Kingdom. However, you can see that if you make changes to the location, the carbon footprint also changes effectively. So let's take this back to Europe. And save changes. Within the compare manufacturing processes you can see how our calculations are broken down. Manufacturing emissions is how much energy is being consumed in the manufacturing process. Material is the embodied carbon of the material of the stock and raw material being used to create your product and transportation is the amount of CO2 emitted transporting the raw material from where it's initially produced to where it's processed to then where you're manufacturing. From a manufacturing type, we have injection molding. We also have uh, additive processes such as fused filament fabrication, selective laser sintering, stereolithography. And also if we change this to a metal, we can see that we also have binder jetting, direct energy deposition and laser powder bed fusion. From a subtractive standpoint, we have CNC milling, CNC turning, and sheet metal fabrication. Now, as we're into injection mold this, let's take this back to ABS, injection molding, and now let's save this value. The manufacturing emissions is very much dependent on the process that you're using, but then also the country that you're manufacturing this in. This Tape depends on the grid that you're using. So if you manufacture something in um, the UK, for example, and we go and change to a, a less green grid like China, we can see that the main thing that's changed is the manufacturing process. That's because the energy that's being used in China is less, uh, is more CO2 emitting than um, the United Kingdom. So this really gives you an insight of how your manufacturing decisions, not just the process and material, but actually the location can impact the carbon footprint of your product. In the calculations tab, you can see some of the assumptions that are being made. And also we have our methodology in a PDF form here. And this really gives you some insights so that it's not a black box experience and you know that what's the kind of climate strategy being used to create this tool for you. The history view allows you to understand how the design changes that you have made also impact the carbon footprint of your product. So we can see here, as those changes have happened based off location, how it's impacted the CO2 emissions of this motor housing. The settings view allows us to activate our persistent view. The persistent view is a tool within MSI to give you the same level of calculations, but whilst you're designing a product so that you don't need to have this big window open. So we can close this and the persistent view will remain open. 
Now to use the persistent view, just simply select a body within the design uh, tree or highlight it. So we can see selecting it, 8.5 kilograms. However, if we just highlight the handle, you'll see that it's doing a calculation now on this handle of 1.3 to 2.1 kilograms of CO2. Now the reason why we have a range is because I haven't gone and done a full MSI workflow selecting the different settings yet on the handle. So it's making some assumptions and then gives you a ballpark figure. The beauty of the persistent view is that you can actually highlight a whole assembly to do a total carbon um, evaluation of that. What this is doing is it's taking individual uh, components, doing the calculations like we've shown before, and then giving you a sum value of all of them. So now you can know that if I'm going to manufacture this with all of the different parts of my supply chain where I'm manufacturing the different components, this is going to be the rough calculation or carbon emissions of this product, really giving you some insight to the scope three emissions of this component. Now really, and how we also see this being used is as you're designing, helping you understand the design decisions that you make and how that impacts the CO2 emissions of your product. Let's isolate this motor housing and let's make some design changes. So we can currently see that this isn't really optimized for injection molding. It's quite a thick, a lot of material, it's a very wasteful design. There's ways that we could optimize this. So if we move along in the design tree, we can see that we've shelled it, added some ribs for support, and reduce the amount of material needed to injection mold in this component. So now if we highlight this body, we can see that it's now 4.8 kilograms of CO2 equivalent, significantly reducing that impact of that product. We're really excited about this tool and looking forward to seeing how Fusion users can implement this into their design workflow to not only optimize the designs from a carbon emission standpoint, but also think about what manufacturing processes they're using and which countries they're manufacturing their products in. Fundamentally, we want you to be able to design the most sustainable products possible within Fusion, and we think that MSI is that first stepping stone to being able to do that. Thank you for listening, and if you have any feedback on MSI, please get in touch with the team and download the MSI add-in on the App Store now. Thank you for listening.